I'm a lot more confident. Um, I'm well prepared, and uh, I just know that I'll win this time. I, I, it, there, there, were, there are no excuses for last time he beat me, but he beat me, and I just can't accept that, you know? Just the fact that I lost motivated me. I hate losing. So, um, and knowing that I was that close to winning the title, I know I can get it. So it just motivates me more and more and more. Plus, I don't want to be one of those guys that put in so much work throughout the years and not accomplish the goal of being a champion. So that's why I want to win this too. Just my own, my own thing. I want to be a champion. I want to go down in history as the best. Not just one of the best, the best. Oh no, I never look past. Everybody else is talking about John Jones, not me. Um, of course, he's 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 not around yet, but of course, and he but he's gonna always be a subject. You know what I'm saying? A topic to talk about. Um, much respect to him, and uh, when he comes back, I know he's gonna do amazing things. I look forward to fighting him, and uh, I think everybody looks forward to fighting John. At one point, I thought it wouldn't happen just because of you know things that was going on with him, things that were going on with me. But I think it's a good possibility now. What's going on with the team Black Zillions and how, how has this training camp been for you? Yeah, the Black Zillions aren't what they used to be. You know, uh, I think a couple of the old, the original guys are still around. But, um, you know, just kind of went our separate ways. Things happen and nothing lasts forever. So uh, I still love everybody the same. You know, I train with any of them any day. Um, no ill will from me. I, I love them all. I wish the team was still sticking together. I train at CSMMA, where you know the Black Zillions are training at. I still have my grappling coach that's there. Um, I still have my, my uh, striking coach, Henry Hoop, but we're at another gym, a uh, comeback club. It works for me. You know, I still have my coaches. Um, I still have my teammates, you know, and uh, everything is just really politics, and that's what I hate. Daniel Cormier, he's held the belt now for a little, a little while. Uh, a lot of fans, though, still boom. Why do you think that is? I don't know why they, I, I really don't know why they boo him. Uh, I think they just don't like his fighting style, you know what I mean? And uh, you can't always win the, the crowd over, it just, sometimes it's just not possible, no matter how good you are. You know, maybe it's because he's talking so much and only defended the belt once, you know, that could be what it is. Um, because he's definitely talking more than he's fighting, you know, but that's just the game. You know, sometimes you get hurt and you can't defend the belt like you need to. And that's what's been happening to him. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm just glad I'm not in his shoes because everybody likes me. You got to Daniel, you had a moment there. Yeah, I dropped him. I dropped him, but he got back up. Daniel has a hell of a chin. He can take a punch. I seen him take a crazy knee from Gustafson. Daniel has been in wars, so I don't know how much more he can take like that. You know, ever since he's been to light heavyweight, it's been a, it's, it's been some battles. Just after fighting John, then he fought me, and then he fought Gustafson. Like that's three tough battles. He fought Anderson, and he didn't take much damage, but still, like he, you saw whenever Anderson actually connected, it hurt him. It hurt him, you know. So. There's only so much your body can take, you know what I mean? And uh, Daniel's not getting any younger. You know, I think he's like 37, 38, something like that. Um, so we'll see what, what Daniel shows up, but I know he'll be ready.